I have a question about cash. You mentioned yeah. earlier yeah. that's how you got into trouble. So tell me about cash. Where do you yeah. hide it? Yeah. Are you, you're, why do you have to launder it? Well, that was my biggest regret is not starting like legitimate businesses right away. Like even if you have 20 grand and you have a little bit of like forward thinkingness, you could start like an online business. Like there's a lot you can do with not very much cash. Yeah. And just um, hide, hide it, start funneling it. through. Totally. There. And even if it didn't make a profit, it still cleans it up. So yeah. like the reason cash is so hard to hide, especially now is that, well, it's hard and it isn't, but you have to, if you have like a cash business, like buying shoes, like what about what I would have done is I'd take $20,000 and I would just go down to the Supreme store on Fairfax pay some kids to go do it, buy shoes for $400 a piece and sell them online to Japan for whatever they're paying for it, a thousand bucks, right? Mm -hmm. And then you open up an LLC, declare it, show all the receipts of sales, and then you pay taxes on it. That's, and, but back then when you're 21, 22, you you're, yeah. you're like, I'm, I'm going to bury this in uh, my mom's garden. Yeah. And well, theoretically, what's wrong with burying it in your mom's garden? So well, what's the problem? Yeah, that's true, I guess. It's a problem. It's only the problem if you go well, away to prison for a long time. But it's also a problem. It can that disintegrate. It can, start, it can deteriorate. You start, right? you start like if you're high, if you're just hiding it in drawers and everything. You're you a you're you're not having access to it. Like it's hard. You yeah. Know, you make it public. You have access to the cat. Like, right. You're paying taxes on. It. You're losing yeah. some of it, but you you have access to money now. Right. Also so, correct. Also, if you get in trouble, like if I had had all these businesses popping, these yeah. these fake businesses. When they had raided my crib yeah. and found, you know, I think they found about four hundred thousand dollars in cash Jesus. just in one shot. Yeah, Th then I could have been, I could at least had some action in court. My lawyer could be like, "Look, he has all of these different businesses. He's selling shoes. He's selling cars. He's, yeah. you know, he's got like some weird Bitcoin shit. Like, you could at least have a fighting chance to prove that maybe you're not a drug dealer. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. But when you're just when you have no, when you're not showing any legal income, it's just like. Your odds you're just, of getting hit with tax evasion and and all these fuck. other criminal charges, you're fucked. Uh, even you're, more. you're fucked. You're dead to rights. Uh, so that's why it's imperative to like, you know, do that shit, right? So where do you physically hide your cash? Are you sewing it into the lining of, of jackets like immigrants, or is it in the mattress? <laughs> Dude, it's in the mattress. It's so many places. <laughs> like I had, uh, you know, different safe deposit boxes under my brother's name. I had uh, cash in my parents' attic. I had oh my God. different uh, storage spaces, right? Warehouse space where I would just put a bunch of furniture and like dump some cash in there. Um, yeah. Okay. My mom, actually, this is how difficult. My mother accidentally threw away like $40,000 <gasps> in drug money no. one time. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, so I I was stashed. I had about forty grand wrapped up, all banded up, put you know plastic over it, and I was getting ready to move it. And I was over at her house while she was gone, so I just put it in a trash bag and like stashed it under her sink. And I was like, okay, I'll literally be back tomorrow. I just got to think about where to put this. I'm out of ideas, you know. <laughs> and I go back the next day, and it's gone. And I said, I kind of called downstairs to the kitchen where my mom was. I said, hey, mom. Uh, did you move anything under your, your sink? Like, did you, did you, there was a trash bag in there. She goes, oh yeah, I, I threw it in the trash. I was like, well, that's reasonable. And I go, when is garbage day? She goes, oh, it's today. They already picked it up. I know the fucking, the GDP of Haiti was fucking <laughs> being trucked away in, in a sanitation truck. Dude, yeah, yeah, and I go, and I was like, "Mom, that's." I, I told her what it was. You told her, yeah, and she was devastated. To her credit, like she's not that much of a square. She was yeah. like, "Honey, I'm so sorry." So also, fuck you, yeah, for stashing drug money in my house. But yeah. I'm so sorry. But then it sounds like I mean, where was your father in all of this? He was around. I mean, I got both my parents. Like they, they, they didn't like what I was doing. They, it, it no, it, they hated it. But at a certain point, they were like. They accept like when they knew I was making that kind of cash, they were like, did you do a little hookup too? did you go like, here's a little free, like, you know, break off a little bit. I tried to when I went away to prison and they were like offended. <laughs> they really? were like offended that, you, that I would try to give them <laughs> drug money. Everybody wants to You're know a good this son. when, <laughs> thank you, when yeah. somebody uh, gets caught and, you know, and there's money involved and you have it in all these places. Mm -hmm. Did you at least have the, the feeling of like, well, they didn't find X, Y, and Z stash spots you yeah know? you did yeah, of okay. course yeah yeah you're because because when your world is just tumbling down yeah 
day after day, my lawyer was like, yeah, they found a hundred grand in a safe deposit box. You had <laughs> another strike. Yep. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You're not getting bail. You know, uh, it, it, you're like, at least, okay, at least I have this. Wow. Yeah. Like you try to like, you rationalize. So you're like, when you get out, you're like, well, at least I'll be able to. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, they didn't get all of it, but they got a lot. They got of a it. lot. Ooh, mommy. Did you enjoy that highlight? Why don't you have more fun? Click around. Click here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Look. Try it out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You're not going to miss a moment of denim. Okay? Try it out. Be her.